Hello everybody and welcome to Locked On Lakers. Today we're just going to do a recap video of what all has happened this last month since I've taken a little break and just look to what is ahead for Russell County Athletics and what all is going on within all the program. First, we have 445 subscribers right now, trying to get to 500 by the start of summer with all the different stuff that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be thinking of some new things to do with all the different sports going on right now and all the things happening. So I hope you all stay tuned and see what all I will do. First, we're going to look back at the basketball seasons real quick. Lyon County ultimately ended up winning the state tournament. I got to watch all that game on TV, and I went to some of the state tournament games. The state tournament was good, and it was a great experience. Now, let's look back at the Lakers. Uh, the Lakers, unfortunately, dropped in the first round of the 16th district. Well, technically the second round, but we dropped in our first round game. Uh, just looking back on it, the Lakers were playing really good at a halfway start of the year. And just for whatever reason, could not get it going at the very end when it mattered the most. Nothing wrong with that. It happens to the best of teams, just like what happened to Kentucky. Sometimes you'll have that happen, and it is what it is. Next year, it'll be interesting to see what we do without Serato and Trey Stringer. I will be very looking forward to seeing how all that comes into play. But overall, not a bad year, having 12 wins, being an improvement. And Coach Cooper will have everybody lined out and ready for next year. Now we are going to move on and look at what the Lady Lakers did. They made the district championship game and lost to Metcalf County. They ended up making the semifinals of region. Our girls ended up losing in the first round to the region champs by four in Bowling Green. I thought we played very well that day, and ultimately I think we should have won, but Bowling Green's Bowling Green, and they're hard to beat. So, yeah, just one of them things, you play Bowling Green and Bowling Green, it's hard to beat them. Now we're going to take a look at our new football coach, Stephen French. He was at Boyle County before he came here. He was an assistant for a little bit there. Then these last few years, as you all may well know, he's been our offensive and then he's been our defensive coordinator sometimes as well. I've really got to know him over these last few years. And I think he will do a great job at our new Laker field. And he will get everybody right. Anytime you can hire somebody with Boyle County experience as well, we all know what they can do. And, yeah, just great hire. And I wish him well in his first season this year. Also, we got to wish our former coach well. I don't know if everybody knows why he had to step down. I'm not going to put that out there. But I hope you get to feeling better, Coach Ford, and thank you for what all you have done. Now we're going to take a quick look at baseball and softball real quick. Baseball is having their first game at Myrtle Beach, Cal Ripken Experience today. I believe they play a team at Ohio, and the game is going on right now as we speak. I know our Lady Lakers softball, they are heading to Florida and I believe their first game will be Monday, if I'm not mistaken. But baseball, softball, both off the good starts of the year. I haven't got to watch a softball game yet, but I've heard they've been doing really well. And then on the baseball side of things, we are starting off very well. We're either 3-1 and one and 4-1, and one, I can't remember. But uh, earlier this week, we had a big win over Wayne County. And yeah, both seasons are starting off really good. 
Coach Rick Schroeder and Coach Bell are both doing good things, and we expect the Lakers to make good runs in both. One quick real note before I get off here today, I wanted to do a uh, shorter one today, but I had my last collegiate golf tournament last week. It has been a great four-year ride, and I will be sad but you got to move on to bigger and better things. I graduate here in about a month. So we'll be trying to do a lot of school stuff and just enjoying all that. Thank you all for the support with all that throughout these four years. It has truly meant a lot to the kid who's been grown up here and also went through the high school system and all that. Finally, I want to take a look at some news that has been going around. We could be moving to the 12th region. I believe it'll be in 25, 26, but we could be in a district with Somerset Christian, Wayne County, and then Macquarie Central for sure. And then I think maybe Southwestern. I'm not sure which one out of all those will be in our district but it is looking like it is a possibility and we will just have to see what entails with that we're already in a football district with a lot of them schools so we'll see what happens i'll have updates when they come but just like i said please subscribe to the channel it has been getting really good views lately i appreciate all of you all for going along on this journey with me i'm at 445 subscribers and here in the next month or two, I'm trying to grow it to around 500, and we'll see where it goes from here. This is Cart Media YouTube, back with another Locked on Lakers podcast series. And I hope you all like, subscribe, and share the video on all social media platforms.